crazy. Mine's currently at Oh, what? Okay, hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. I found a TikTok the other day that I'm sure many of you have seen about a guy who made some crappy painting. No offense. No offense. He said it was crappy. <laughs> and he posted it on eBay to see how many bids he could get on it. And he ended up selling it for like $18,000. Like, and this boy wasn't like, it wasn't no, a great It wasn't painting. Picasso. So, so we wanted to test it and see if we could do the same thing. So basically how it's gonna work is me, Brooklyn, Asa, and Camry. Hello. We are all going to paint individual paintings and use we, our own strategies yes. to post them on eBay and then at the end of the week whoever has the biggest bid on their painting wins. So I'm super excited. I'm not an <laughs> so, artist whatsoever. Uh no. So. We're gonna start painting right now and show you what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Wanted to clarify, some of the proceeds that we get, if we do end up selling these paintings, we will donate. So we're not conning people for those of you who are like, mm -hmm. It's just fun, it's gonna be so fun, but I'm worried that like we're gonna get through all of this and not a single one of us is gonna have a bid. I'm just going as abstract as you can possibly be, but I'm trying to pull in colors that kind of complement each other. We'll see. So I've been doing a little teensy bit of research and I've decided that like something that a lot of people are passionate about right now is something to do with like, we're all the same people and like we're all together. And I have like an idea in my head of how I want the painting to look, but it might just look terrible. I'm about to start and I have no idea. My strategy is not having a strategy. Artists sometimes just go for it, you know? Do you really think like Van Gogh had a strategy? Just saying. I'm just gonna do whatever I want and maybe throw in some art techniques from like fifth grade and call it a day and hopefully I win. <laughs> I have discovered that number one, oil paints are a lot harder to use than you would think. And number two, the power of a sponge. Do I know where I'm going from here? No. Okay, so I've already gotten started. Uh, can't you tell it's a masterpiece? You can see where my drawn handprints are that I'm gonna fill in with color. I'm gonna have to cover some of these brown spots that I have on my hand from the brown paint with white again, but you can see like I've got the hands to begin my art. Now I just have to color them different colors. I'm kind of excited, it looks good so far. I'm proud of myself. All right, so I think I kind of got a little um, thrown off with my idea because the colors that I picked looked way more coherent on the plate than they did on um, the canvas. So at this point, I'm just going all in and I'm trying to decide on if I should like leave some white space on this or just go full color. I think I'm just gonna go full color, you know? Camry, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> I just saw her just like putting, like tapping in, like look at that. What is, what? Okay. <laughs> Dude, the Here's colors mine. look way different. Okay, so that's the colors, like blue. Like, look at what I was getting, and then yeah, this they, is, they come out so much darker. They on the come out canvas. so much, like so different. So I've had to start mixing white with mine, but there's mine so far, pretty abstract. Babe, how's it coming? It's coming. I think I'm done. Camry looks like she's getting pretty close. Now it's kind of got a little charm to it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and list it on eBay. Maybe get a little bit of a head start against the competition. And uh, yeah, I mean, it'll probably only be like 20 minutes, but anything helps. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm done! And it actually turned out pretty good. I don't know what it is or what it means. We've been inspired and we realized that Ace's painting looks like a dress that we own. This is the dress? They are one and the same thing. Time to go take some pictures. May the odds be ever in y'all's favor. I'm going to win. Yeah, you know when you look at an art piece and like you're just kind of thinking like, oh, I wonder what the artist was thinking when they painted that. That is what mine is. What was the artist thinking when they painted that? Guys, kind of looks like there's a bunny in the middle. I don't know, it's kind of got a little something to it. You know, you look at it and you just sit there and you're like, oh, that's kind of cool, but you know. Okay, after about 30 to 40 minutes more than the other kids, I have officially finished my painting. I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's a little imperfect, but I kind of like that it's not perfect, you know? I don't know. We're gonna let it dry and take some pictures. 
Okay, so I'm on here trying to list my painting and it's asking me to put who it's listed by. I don't wanna put my name just in case, so I'm gonna put my middle name because it sounds really professional, Marnay. So I'm putting it listed by Marnay and hopefully that will keep people from finding it as me. <laughs> Got my picture loaded up and here's here's the thing i'm gonna photoshop this onto an actual like painting on a wall and what it's gonna look like, kind of like a mansion or something just to add a little more value to it so i'll show you that in a minute whenever i do that i took pictures of my picture outside like everybody else did now i'm just like editing it so that the lighting looks good and the colors look good um and i'm gonna upload two different photos with like two different backgrounds i'm just gonna post like literally just the basic photo Ace and Camry both have some skills on Photoshop. Whoa. Again, no artistic skills, yeah. no Photoshop skills. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so I think I'm done. I think this is what I'm gonna use. I just made like a fake canvas, like literally you can see. Like the edge of the canvas and the shadow and I just put it on this random wall and I think that'll just help add a little bit of value to it that's gonna be one of the pictures I use and then the other will just be a flat picture of it so I called it gratitude 16 by 20 premium original oil painting on canvas and I put in all the details and here's my description an emotional blend of vibrant strokes breaking through the deep clouds of selfishness and uncertainty. $100.99 as an auction. The auction's gonna be set for seven days, uh, no matter what. And yep, that's it. You can see here I have my main photo, and then my second photo here. And then I'm, the name is called Unity. That's my name. Success, your listing is now live. View my listing. There she is. That's all she wrote, folks. Tree of Life, 16 by 20 premium original oil painting on canvas. We all agreed to set our paintings at $100. So I put mine at $9.99 because duh, that's a bargain. Nice. And we're all watching each other so that it looks like more people are watching the paintings. I wanted to read you my description though. Tree of Life, 16 by 20 oil painting on canvas. A bloom of deep, passionate emotion in a vast world of cruel unoriginality. Thank you, thank you, I know. Okay, people, I posted my art on eBay. Thought I had this whole strategy down to like a T. Well, I have absolutely zero bids and only 39 views in two days. So I am getting nowhere. The only people watching my art is my sister and all the other people that tried to post art. So I have decided to try a new strategy. I don't know if the other people know this, but I'm gonna try it and see what it does. So the other people that we base this video off of made a TikTok about their art. So I'm about to make a TikTok about our art and see if it does anything, because I think it will get more attention. And like, as it gets more attention, it'll like boost it in the algorithm of eBay. I don't know if that's even a thing, but we're gonna try it. So I'll keep you updated. Okay, y'all. So I saw someone on this app make a TikTok of them making a really crappy painting, posting it on eBay, and it's selling for like $18,000. So I thought I'd give it a shot. In order to make this a little bit more fun, my twin sister, my younger sister, and my twin sister's boyfriend and I are having a competition to see who can get the highest bid by the end of the week. So this is my painting. I titled it Unity, and I have some really crazy little, you know, description. And then I put it up for $99.99. This is my sister's boyfriend's painting. It's titled Gratitude. This is my twin sister. Sister's painting, Tree of Life, $99.99, what a bargain. And this is my younger sister's painting called Nostalgia. Between the four of us, we've got them all posted and I'm gonna tell you and update you how it goes by the end of the week to see who has the highest bid. Just as an update, it has been seven minutes since I posted my TikTok and it has 7,000 likes and how many views? 20,000 views and my eBay, a hundred views. It went from 36 views to a hundred views in seven minutes. I think I done myself good on this strategy. What just happened? I got a bit! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! So it's been approximately like 45 minutes since Brooklyn posted the TikTok and I have a bid for the exact price that I put it at. But at nice. least that means it will sell. Now I just need one to happen on mine. <laughs> I was at the office, just, you know, casually packing things, and I got a bit for a hundred dollars. And then I got another bit, and then I got another bit, and then I got another bit, and then I got another bit. I have seven bits, and the highest one is two hundred and seven dollars. 
I'm losing my mind. I know Bailey also has a bid for $100, but Cameron and Asa don't have a bid yet, which is kind of sad because I think their paintings are good. But I'm just saying, $207. I stopped for five seconds. <laughs> $910. I took like 20 minutes on this painting. This is crazy. This is crazy. Mine is currently at $910. What? Where's Cammy? Go tell her she's getting mad. What? $910. What? $910. Who's bidding on yours? What? I want mine to be bid on. What happened? Mine got another bid. Actually, three more bids. It's up to one hundred and twenty-seven dollars and fifty cents. One hundred and twenty-seven. Brooklyn, what's yours at now? Nine hundred and sixty. <laughs> nice. Mine's at zero still. Okay. All right, Sana. Any guesses on what mine's at right now? Um. Okay, I'll I'll tell you them in order, least to most. Camry has zero bids. Mine. Our Bailey has a couple of bids. Thirty-eight bids. Hers is at three hundred and thirty. Thirty-eight. What? Three hundred and thirty dollars. This is Bailey's. <laughs> Asa is at $1,025 and I am at $6,090. Oh my gosh. $1,000. Wait, oh it was just at $6,000 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago. I just keep seeing Let me see. It's let me see. Because maybe it's getting bids in eBay like it's tripping the eBay algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Where's that? There it is. $10,100. What? Six thousand six hundred seven thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. This, this, this can't be real. Nine thousand nine thousand. This gotta be a joke. Ten thousand one hundred. This has to be a joke. Go see if this There's no way. There's no way these people are actually gonna shuck up ten thousand dollars. Okay, so we're all just sitting here reading out the numbers that are climbing. I still have zero bids, but Sana texted me and she said, some of your eBay links, I send it to her and she goes, I got you and she's gonna bid on mine. But when she went in to go check, it said that I have two bids. So somebody has bid on mine and my price has been matched now, so. On your way up, Cameron. It's you are the one I thought would win because you are by far the most artistic, but what you turned out was intentionally bad. Yeah, that was the point of the video. I don't know why everybody tried to make good ones. <laughs> I just got a bid for 10150 That means I am in front of Bailey now. So everybody was making fun of me last night. Literally in one night. No, it was all this morning. So what happened is last night, I started getting more bids. And it, it might got bid up to like, I can't remember. Like maybe like $1,000 or something. And then like this morning, my like Apple Watch was going crazy. And I was like, who is texting me? It's like pretty early. It was like 20 alerts. And I get on my phone and they're all from eBay. And they just were like stacking bids. And now. I am in third place, so. I am speechless. Um, I don't think any of us anticipated mm, the outcome that no we had. Way. The current bid is 13200 and I have 14 minutes left. $15,100 and it ends in an hour. My painting has one hour and three minutes left. I had seven bidders, 54 bids, and my highest bid is $10,800 for this. Are you kidding me? I am going to be a professional painter forever. <laughs> You can see the appeal to being an artist after this, right? It always works out like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, his is about to expire in three, three two, two, one. And it's done! Right. $13,200 for your beauty of a painting. Yes. I have nine seconds left. <laughs> and one, I have my $13,000. <laughs> That is just wild. This is insane. Four, three, two, two one. one. So. Bidding is done. Oh. Congratulations, my item sold. All right, so I currently have one minute until my bid ends. My painting has had 36 bids by eight different bidders. I've had 132 watchers, which means like they favorited them or like saved this so they could watch the painting. And I've had 10,348 views. That's kind of the total numbers and um, I have 28 seconds left. But in like the past couple minutes, people have been bidding it up. So my painting has now gone up 
to its final price of $12,100. Honestly though, it's just kind of fun to see how much people will, or like say they'll pay. Um, I don't think any of us really care about the actual money. We're just kind of doing it for fun. So yeah, it just says congratulations, your item has sold. We've sent the buyer a payment reminder. Buyers can take up to 48 hours to pay. It's done. So we waited the 48 hours to see if any of us would get paid. Unfortunately, none of us did. None so we won't did. be able to donate the money anymore because we didn't get any of the money. But it's okay because it, it was so much fun. So that's all that matters. Yeah. But yeah, we just thought we'd wrap it up and say technically Brooklyn won the competition because she had $15,000 bid on her painting. Even though none of us got the money, she technically won. So good job, Brooklyn. And once Ooh. again, I lost. I'm ready to win a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, we'll see y'all next week. Love you guys. Bye. This is currently my paintbrush. Can you see this? It's broken. <laughs> but uh, we're doing what we can, so.